bringing the people behind our food to life. Tell it we're harvesting wheat. And just cleared all the data from the last field. And now we're ready to go. So we're in what we call the Watkins field. This is a field of winter wheat that we're harvesting. And we are harvesting it with a John Deere 9750 combine. With a 30 foot head on the front of it. Um, it allows us to harvest wheat at about 800 bushels an hour, 800, 900 bushels an hour, depending upon conditions. What I just touched up here is our yield monitor, which using GPS satellite technology, keeps track of our location in the field and keeps track of the yield uh, using a mass flow sensor in the combine. It detects how much wheat is coming into the combine and, and converts that to a yield per acre based on the amount of acres that it knows we cover between speed and the width of the header. In the cab here. Most importantly, my satellite radio. <laughs> the combine has a hydrostatic transmission, which means that the further I push this orange handle ahead, the faster we go, pull it back, slows me down. Um, the combine has an auto header height on it, so these buttons that I push on the top of my hydro handle here set the he header height to varying heights. Depends on how much stubble I want to leave. Um, over here I've got a unit that keeps track of how much wheat I'm losing out the back of the combine. And so I watch that. And that basically tells me how fast I can go or whether I need to change the settings on the combine, which can be change how fast I'm spinning the separator in the combine, the rotor, or how tight the gap is that the wheat's got to go through, or how much wind how much how the fan speed is that drives how much wind there is that's flowing up through that crop material to float the light stuff out and let the grain fall through. We can control this different settings um, from the cab here. And like this is telling us here that the rotor, which is a pretty big diameter drum that's uh, two-thirds the length of the combine. So it's a big unit, and it's spinning right now at 700 revolutions per minute. So it's moving pretty fast in there. And then the fan I've got set at 1130 revolutions per minute, so it's spinning even faster yet. But every, every different crop has different recommended settings to properly separate thrash and separate the grain from the crop. Of course, we've got a nice air conditioner that keeps the cab comfortable and pressurized and keeps all that dirt outside. Certainly have a great appreciation for the generations of farmers that did this without a cab, let alone air conditioning. <laughs> 